taking a look at Domino's today. Request from Edward in the Discord. This is for you. Here we go. On the monthly time frame, since the inception of Domino's publicly traded equities in 2008, we've definitely seen the first couple of waves that always start everything out. A, B, and then wave B was a 14,500% run from about three to four dollars all the way up to 565 which is ridiculous when you think about it but that's fine it doesn't matter we ended that trend that huge trend and then ending diagonal triangle up here we're now pushing down the end of this giant sieve wave has come and so we're going to be looking for correction on a very large time frame i doubt though that we'll actually see the price drop below the 290 level in the future doesn't mean it won't, but honestly, that's going to be a huge level of support and resistance. And in the shorter to near term, this actually looks bullish. So we're going to zoom in here and get something going. On the daily time frame, showing the decline from the all-time high at 564.33. Pretty clear A, B, and C waves. And I'm starting to count here at the super cycle degree, just kind of arbitrarily, like just whatever. I want to make sure I get myself a lot of wave degrees below so I can get into this, get nitty gritty with it if I want to. I want that availability. So I've got waves A, B, and C, where wave C forms some sort of triangle, which is pretty common in wave C. And I think here what I see are waves of three, A, B, and C, A, B, and C, A, B, and C, where I've got an overlap between the first and the fourth waves, which would be waves A and D. This looks bullish because it signals the end of the current trend, which at this time was down in correction. And so now we are looking for an uptrend in correction. And so what I'm going to do is just take my extension tool here. I'm going to measure to the height of that initial impulse, pull it, the extension down to the end of the first corrective wave through there. And the first target comes in at 451.72 with bullish continuation at 402.58. Price is bouncing through there now. We're going to be looking for some correction, but honestly, looks like we're in a steady, healthy uptrend. If we get a strong push higher this week, that's going to be some serious confirmation. I would expect a little more sideways grind here before we pop up to 451, but obviously we could easily do that. 521.39 is the C-wave extension, and I don't think that's totally unreasonable. It's very possible we get there. I'm going to label these back at the cycle degree, and at this point, we'll be looking for that next downtrend, and it's possible that it, it probably will, will end somewhere in the mid-300s, I would say, to give us a nice flat. This correction overall, I think, is going to look something like this. And then we'll see it continue up and higher just based on the overall ridiculously 14,500 percent bullish nature of that impulse from 2008. Anyway, so that's kind of what I'm looking at here. And I'll probably get into this a little bit more on the hourly time frame in the future. But I think right now this suffices because we've got a bullish confirmation above 402.58, heading for 451 to 521. Any target in there I think is pretty valid. There's going to be some resistance here at 451. There's a valley back here. Going to be some resistance over here where we have a peak at 542. Otherwise, I'm thinking that pff, it looks like it could move pretty bullishly. We get momentum indicators. Looks like we have what looks like a reversal occurring in the MACD where we could be coming out of a small reactionary trend to the downside and could be starting a new bullish impulse, which would be nice. The RSI through here is we we have a bearish divergence right here, but I think that's just a smaller wave degree, so possible to watch the RSI blast through there and set a new high while we watch this wave play out and come up towards 521. Very possible. That's what I got. And while I'm talking about things that I don't usually talk about, let's look at Fubo. I had some analysis on Fubo, and I just kind of returned to it. I had this A, B, and C waves laid out for minute wave A. And then what I saw was that we had a complete correction through here, wave B, which is fantastic. I love to see this. We have uh, what looks to be A, B, C, D, E, or maybe it's A, B, C, D, and E. I'm not too worried about what really is forming this triangle in terms of touch points. It's pretty clear that we've had a corrective trend, and that corrective trend is coming to an end. We've had a good breakout, nice solid volume spike right here on this impulse. Not too bad. Looks like it came as resistance, price came down, and then set a new high. And this confirms an, a higher target. We may have already reached this first one. Let me just do this. You can see we came up to that 334 target, no problem, easy enough, and that confirmed at $3, so not a huge rally there, but a pretty good way to break out from this corrective cycle, which lasted a pretty long time, maybe three or four months. We've seen a big bullish reversal breaking that downtrend. We've gone through initial impulse, the first corrective wave, which appears to be B, which makes me think that we're looking for a C wave now to take us up to 435 or 579. There is an uptrend I'm showing through here 
I haven't looked at that in a while, but it looks like it comes from a long time ago. I wouldn't be surprised to see price come back up to that area in a motive wave as wave C at the minute degree. All right, here's Fubo on the hourly time frame. Zooming in here, I think we've had a leading diagonal triangle showing in blue here. We have five touch points. Five is the nature of motive. And the reason why I think it, this is a leading diagonal triangle is because we have an alternation between waves of five and three between opposing trend line touches with an overlap between waves one and four, which is the lean or ending or lean diagonal triangle specifically formation. We've had a breakout since then to the downside for retracement, a new high probably set by wave B. And now we're watching wave C bring the price lower. And in order to find these kinds of price targets, we're just going to do some, some simple stuff. This was kind of hard to make it look super motive. So I'm thinking to myself, it's probably a uh, measured move down complex measured move down where we've got several different wave degrees going on through here. But basically, I'm going to duplicate this wave right here. And then I'm going to edit it to say A. Whoops. Let me just make this video unnecessarily long now with a little bit of editing through here. I think we've got A. Duplicate this. Pull this up for wave B. And we're looking for that wave C to complete correction. And we've got it just past 100 percent right now which is common for wave c and sometimes we see wave c extend which here would be down at 246 so while it's possible we come down further i'm thinking to myself this looks like we're kind of ending this trend down here uh very possible we're forming some sort of ending diagonal triangle hard to say exactly right now but honestly this does look like we're about to see a bullish reversal and so if we do see a bullish reversal i would be going long and i actually might do that maybe i'll sell some puts here probably gonna sell puts I don't know. The, the premium on puts is not that great. But I do think I'll get in once we break that downtrend, perhaps, or come above 281. So there's my FUBU analysis.